Hey, what's up everybody? Magnus here. And today I wanted to talk about the new leak from Canon Rumors regarding the R6. Now I've already seen a lot of videos that had to do with the latest specs, but if you don't know, I'm gonna catch you up on what those latest specs revealed are, and then my opinion of it, just real quick. Aside from all the other well-known information, such as it being rumored as a 20 megapixel camera with IBIS, 12 frames per second, 20 frames per second mechanical, 4K at 60 frames per second, full HD 120, those are the specs that we already knew about. At least a bigger portion of the unknowns have been revealed. They said that it's gonna have oversampled 5K video. Now, oversampled 5K video to me, and it's not really clearly explained what oversampled is. To me, it's just that it's taking the full sensor and then downsampling it for 4K. So it's like oversampled. So you're getting a little bit more detail in that 4K video because it's essentially 5K. Now, uh, another cameras that have done this, of course, is for example, the Samsung NX1, which is a, about a 6K sensor and it downsamples to 4K. So this is it telling oversampled 5K video for to me, it's just gonna downsample to 4K, but using the full width of the sensor causes more detail in that 4K, which is good. They said you're gonna have Canon log, which thankfully that that's a, that's a good thing. Canon log seems to be something that Canon starting to just put in all of their mirrorless cameras and, and it was included in the 5D Mark IV if you paid for the $100 upgrade. So that was nice. So they, they're starting to realize that Canon log is something that those who would buy the camera would, would definitely want. 10 bit uh, foot video footage, which is expected. Zebras, this is something that is also desired. Zebras show you when you're overexposed on your footage. And that's something that it should be pretty standard when it comes to cameras, but for some reason Canon wasn't including it, but now they will in this camera. AF identical to the EOS R5, that's a relief to know that the autofocus functionality is not gonna be limited like compared to what they used to do with like the EOS RP or their M50, where if you're shooting 4K, it's gonna use contrast, detect, autofocus, rather than dual pixel autofocus. No raw in video mode, but that's not really a surprise. That's kind of, if you're not gonna include the CF Express card slots, then you're not gonna be able to transfer that data fast enough through the SD card slot. So no raw off of this camera, not a surprise, but with the format that they're using, it's not a big loss for me. Dual SD UHS-2 card slots, that's a plus. To have two SD card slots is nice, better than having one, like the 6D only had one. So to have two card slots, to me, is, is really uh, great when it comes to being able to back up your photos right away. It also confirmed to have head detect and animal detect autofocus, but I don't see it including eye detect autofocus, which is kind of weird. So they're not going to include eye detect autofocus? That would be strange, but when it comes to that need of eye detect autofocus, when you have lower resolution models, you can probably get away with, with a face detect autofocus and still be in focus enough when your resolution is limited at 20 megapixels versus something higher. But 20 megapixels is still a lot of detail. And you have the M50, for example, that ha had eye detect autofocus. So are they not going to include eye detect autofocus? remains to be seen. And the identical 5 million dot EVF as the EOS R5, that's pretty good. So that you can see a lot of detail when you're looking through the EVF, especially since optical viewfinders no longer exist and you're used to seeing more detail through the viewfinder. Well, you're gonna get it through that EVF and a lot of detail. I've seen viewfinders with a million dots that are pretty cool, but higher resolution electronic viewfinders, amazing so my thoughts on this is that it's a camera that i'm starting to be tempted to pick up rather than the r5 thanks to the rumored cheaper price tag of it says here under 2500 dollars according to canon rumors which is a lot more attractive than the higher priced r5 which is rumored still within the four thousand dollar price tag so i think that this is definitely competitive i'm not going to use much of the raw video, 8K raw video from the R5, which in my in my opinion, it's 
it's too much and it, the data rates is gonna be astronomical. I use the 1DX Mark III for RAW and I've got a video coming up explaining how the use of that works with the Adobe Premiere software update, so you should definitely check that out. As far as the high resolution of 8K video in general, it would be nice, but if I don't go that route, it's nice to have an alternative that's still great in the EOS R6, so I'm um, still at a toss up. But let me know what you guys think of the specs and if the R6 is tempting enough to pick up in place of the R5. As always, like, share, and you can make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus, and I'm out. See you later.